progress is being made at a home in the Fairfax District. Crews were called out yesterday to clean up the front yard that was littered with trash just 24 hours ago. Eyewitness News reporter Jason Patel joins us with a closer look at where things stand this morning. Good morning. Well, what a dramatic difference 24 hours can make. Yesterday when we were out here, you couldn't even see the front yard. There were piles and piles of trash. There was even a car that was submerged underneath all of that trash. But this morning we can see that front yard and now that that trash is gone, we're starting to see those rats. You can still see that items are pushed against the front door. We have heard that crews are going to be coming back today to continue the cleanup because we do know that there is still trash pushed pushed up to the side of the home. Now, if you take a look at your screen, this is the Air 7 HD footage from yesterday that shows you just how much trash was out here before. It was piled up five to six feet high in some places and sanitation crews were out here yesterday sorting and throwing out trash at this home, which is located on North Martell Avenue, just off of Melrose Avenue. We spoke with the homeowner's sister who says she and her brother have a strained relationship and have argued about the condition of his house. The mayor was out here also yesterday and this situation was deemed an imminent health and safety hazard which allowed the city to step in. I worry about the individual there, this place catching fire, him losing his life, the quality of life that is compromised by uh, for these neighbors. I would always try to help him, you know, like in school and everything. And he doesn't want your help anymore? No, he's angry. He's very angry with me. He thinks I caused it. City records show the homeowner was fined, but eight years ago, neighbors say they're concerned about the homeowner's mental health and have asked the city to clean up the trash repeatedly. We've also been talking about those rats throughout the morning, and we've managed to get some video of them as they've been moving around here. That's what you're looking at on your screen. Some of them are huge, and we've seen multiple rats, so that just gives you an idea of the condition of this home and yard. Now, back out here, this uh, we did speak to the homeowner's sister. She said that she'd bought the home a while ago, and she gave it to her brother, but she says she's hoping to get the home back so she can fix it up and make sure it's put back into good condition. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.